Good morning! It's actually 11 minutes past 1 in the morning and I'm not actually tired. But I haven't done a lot over the last couple of days either. Uh, Saturday I was actually woken up early by mum. Do you want to come and earn a bit of pocket money and cut some grass for me? Because mum cleans a um, um, like a, we call them a static home over here. Some might call them a caravan, some might call them a mobile home, because you can actually, you know, move them around. But uh, she cleans it. The owners rent it out as a holiday thing. So, every time they have guests in there, she goes and cleans it. But, uh... My stepdad usually cuts the grass, but his knee was playing up so badly Saturday morning he couldn't. So mum said, if you do it, you'll get, the, you know, the pocket money for doing it. So I said, yeah, why not? So I got that. She dropped some, um, some of my shells off as well, which I have up here. And I've actually got the rest at the bottom of the stairs, actually. Well, not right at the bottom of the stairs. They're actually in a little cubby area out of the way. Um, but there they are. One's on the wall. There is an issue with it. If you look at the end, it uh, it is leaning away from the wall at the top there. Not as bad as the one was up the other end. And I actually thought it was the shelf I was using. Because the first one I put up there was this one, which had the bit in there, because obviously my stepdad didn't have a long enough bit to go right to the end. So he just did it to there and then cut another bit to go on the end. I thought it was that. Nope. I put this one up. Extremely on the wonk. You could probably see it looking on the camera, actually. It is severely off. Um, this end is actually a bit too high or it could be that end is a bit too low I mean it'll straighten up whichever end I move but what I'm gonna do because I was playing around with these shafts I was just getting a little bit too uh, <laughs> agitated with it so I left it um, that and I was just also a bit agitated because I'm like how am I gonna fix this issue especially when I noticed how wonky this one was I can even see it with my naked eye how high it is at this end um, but I've actually chosen to take these brackets off I had to put them on this shelf as well I'll show you tomorrow actually before I take that down how wonk how much it lent off the wall towards me um, so I had them two brackets so I thought yeah I'll just stick those under it but I'll take both brackets off, I'll take all the screws out till I get to this end and I'll leave the one in at this end so it pivots and it'll act as my third hand and I'll put my little level that I've got there on top and I'll lower this end till it's level mark it and uh, I'll reuse the screw holes probably because uh, the reason I'm going to drop it and not raise it is because if I raise it it's going to reveal all the old screw holes. If I drop it they're going to remain covered and I haven't got any extra work to do. <laughs> so there is that's the reason why I decided I'll drop this end down rather than raise this end. In fact I think it's going to be more in line with this one if I drop that end than if I raise that end. So do that tomorrow. I've got to go and get some brackets. That's what I'll use that money for. That I earned Saturday. I'll get the brackets for that. Only going to cost me about five, five pounds. I need two, four, six, eight, ten. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to put the other two on there. Simply because I don't think that wall's going to take the weight. Because I didn't like the other shelf I had up there. That was rather weak. <laughs> Which is why I didn't like putting a lot on it. Um, so I may not put these two shorter ones on there. 
bit of a banner, but like I said, I, given how heavy these shelves are, I really don't think that's a good idea. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did today. And complete. That's the first time I've messed up a shelf like this. Usually I don't mess it up. Maybe it's because I've never done this style before. Uh, I can't remember if I actually showed you my man cave sign. It lights up if I can find the switch. It actually said on the box it can be powered from batteries, which this one is. I've got batteries in it. It just slides off the screws if you're wondering how you change them. But it said USB as well, but how many USB cables do you know have that plug on the end of it? And that says it's rated for 4.5 volts. You get 5 volts out of a USB port. So I'm not actually sure how it's rated to be ran from a USB port. There's another one there as well. Just some random stuff I've written on that one. Another thing I've been doing is... Uh, Building a tower block, a tower block of offices, that's what that's going to be. It is in need of some bits. I've got to buy some windows and whatnot. But, uh, it did get me thinking as well, doing this, you know. Because I've heard of people poking fun at, you know, adults like myself for playing with Lego but uh, I don't see it as being any different to someone who draws or writes or fabricates things in their own garden workshop out of metal or wood you know, a bit of carpentry making bird tables or whatever else, you know, like my stepdad does. He makes all sorts of things out of wood. And I don't see it as any any different to that. This is just my way of being creative. But, uh, you know, it's the same with uh, this lot on here, you know. Granted, it's <laughs> probably does seem rather weird to a lot of people, but to me, you, they still don't have to be mean about it. You know, they could just be like, well, that's not interest, but oh well. <laughs> you know, if that's what he likes, or she likes, because there's plenty of adult women that love the show as well. But uh, if anyone is actually wondering why I like such a show like that, I can't even remember if I've done a video on this actually, but videos get buried, so you know, speaking about it again isn't a bad thing. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. Firstly, I've always preferred when it comes to movies, I've always preferred the animated movies, you know, Toy Story, Shrek, a lot of Disney movies, you know, like Snow White, um, The Fox and the Hound, Robin Hood. Loved all movies, like, especially with the talking animals. Don't know why, but I've always loved them with talking animals. I always preferred to watch cartoons like Tom and Jerry, The Looney Tunes. The Animaniacs, when they were around in the 90s and the Tiny Toons, you know, I watched any cartoon that had a talking animal in it, I loved it. That's what I preferred to watch. I was never that fat, you know, that interested in the ones with humans in. Although I did like Recess back then, that was one of my favourites. I don't know why, I've just always liked animations. But, uh... With the newest version of My Little Pony, the Generation 4, because it's been running since 1986, when the first two seasons was aired back then, 
Then there was G2, G3, G3.5, and now what we call G4, Generation 4. But this one is just... If you actually sit and watch it, with your kids or whatever, there's a lot, to me, there's a lot of important life messages in there, you know? About being a good friend, about being... About making friends, you know? As well as all the, um... The references they hide in the show, which only an adult would get. But I'm guessing they do things like that, you know, so you can sit as a family and watch it. But, uh... I just like the characters. The, a lot of the characters in there are brilliant. The character design, the show design. And I guess that's just why I've built a collection in the corner. Because <clears throat> all of that lot on there are just not random ponies. They are characters from the show. All of them. All the game, actually, because there's a lot of the blind bag figures that aren't actually in the show, they're actually in the the um, Android game which I think you can get on iOS as well and, uh, you know, as I've always said, you don't have to like the same things as me or anyone else, but there's just you don't have to be a complete how can I put it without annoying YouTube? I can't actually think of anything. I think I'm too used to swearing. Because <laughs> I can't think of, <laughs> of what to, word to use. Just don't be an idiot over it. You know, you don't have to be mean to others. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to put up bang my knee on the desk oh. right on the edge of it as well on the edge of the shelf right across the, under my just under my kneecap ho oh, hum I've actually been doing a lot with Lego for the last few days because it's been ages because I wanted to get this flat done and I was preoccupied with other things. I just didn't give my Lego that much attention. So my Lego channel has been quiet on videos as well. I've got still... I've got still... Excellent grammar, although it is, you know, almost 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I've still got a couple of Lego videos to do. If you're wondering what I actually do on my Lego channel, it's basically just me showing me out my own models that I build or reviewing sets that I buy, that sort of thing. Or perhaps if I modify a set, I'll show that. <clears throat> but uh, as I was saying, it's been quite quiet on that channel because I haven't... Well, that and for the last two or three weeks, I just didn't have the time. All the space. No, I didn't. <laughs> to do anything like that and I've also been preoccupied you know with fixing these radios and whatnot and getting rid of a lot of my bike parts and sorting things out like that you know sorting out the outside cupboard and getting a lot of stuff that was you know that I wanted to store into proper storage instead of all over the flat that was the main point Excuse me, my bottom, that spoke. That was the main point of uh, 
me cleaning that outside cupboard. So I could make mo more room in here, here, here. I've got a bit of a start tonight. You heard me and Mum yesterday. Jeez, we we're both at it. Either stuttering with our words or just mixing our words up all together. And I can see where they put a patch in the ceiling. <laughs> I'm getting tired, but I'm still not that tired. Might play a few Facebook games that I'll have time, you know. I'm not going to put Grand Theft Auto on because I'll be here till 3 o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is, but when you play a game like that, I am so going to kill you. I am. Why's that bit of freaking. Where's that Lego plate gone? We'll get you, you son of a bitch. This fly has been pissing me off all day. Not anymore. Nee. Bzz, 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 all over the friggin' ceiling. Right. Problem solved. Just all over the ceiling, you know, bzz, 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 all friggin' day. Not anymore. Silence. Friggin' bugs. I don't know, I don't know. You know, I got a movie of My Little Pony as well. October 20th it's released here. I think in America it's October, is it October the 5th or 6th? I can't remember. It's even got Sia in it. Look, Sia's voicing this one. From what I've seen in the trailers, it looks like a well-animated movie. Again, the latest movie I actually bought on DVD was Sing. That animated movie. Ouch. Right. Can't go to bed yet because I can't get to it. Fudge. Tell you what I'll do. <coughs> Pardon me. So I've got two hands free and you won't get dizzy either. Hang on. I'm going to loosen up a little bit so I don't squeak as much. There we go. So I know what point you're at. At that thing I call a bed. Well, I can't put my car back up there because there's a bloody red torch in the way. I had to clear a lot of stuff off of that area to get up there. So ideally, I don't want to go putting stuff back, do I? So I think I'm going to stack them over there for now. See, I was collecting up Master System games. I haven't bought any of them for ages. Might be a winter job. Uh... There's at least one more Lego City set, at least, that I want to buy. Because uh, I've, I've browsed the Lego.com website, so there is at least one more that I want to buy before the end of the year. And then pretty much after that, it's whatever Lego pieces I need for projects or cuddly ponies or whatever else I want to buy. Um... I've got an empty bag, I can just chuck this shit in. 
got some tools in here, but it doesn't matter. Could have a nice set of Dell speakers in it as well. And a nice pocket radio. wireless headphones. I haven't even found the power adapter for this. I'm sure I'd put them in a the bag like this. It might be in that one actually. Because I want to keep them out because I want to put them through there and start using them. It's a pity it wasn't a wireless headset but never mind. Which I have got. It arrived. I bought it for a... Uh, no, I bought it Thursday. Won the bid Thursday, £7 they cost me. They're not the best sort of headset, but they're USB and they work, so. And they're not the worst ones I've got either. Oh, bollocks to you, friggin' stay there, man, though. I've got worse headset, which take the ordinary 3.5mm jacks. Like I said before, those jacks don't work on the front of my PC. I don't know why. Plugged into the right header and whatnot. They, it's just the computer just just stop working for some reason. Rear ones work fine. Oops. So I've got a feeling there's actually an issue on the um, actual. Um, sockets on the front of the PC themselves rather than the computer. I've got a feeling what I'm basically saying is it's a hardware issue not a software issue. <laughs> but uh, I don't need to use them so I've never bothered to really look into fixing them. And all of this is because I tipped a box out earlier because I needed it to Pack up a Dell computer for posting. No, it's not that one. So I've got some speakers and random cables and stuff in here. That'll teach me when I'm clearing things to, you know, paint. It'll teach me to uh, put things where. Oh, it's the cat and he's trying. I don't know what the hell that noise was? Anyway, as I was saying, it'll teach me to uh, put things that I want where I can actually find them. But I really do want to get these shelves up and whatnot so I can get the new curtains up and the new bed clothes on the bed. Because if you saw how much freaking dust drilling those holes was making, you'd understand why I'm not putting those up just yet. Or putting the bed clothes on just yet. See, look. I've got me the mattress protector there. I've got brand new duvet over there, and I've got some pillows as well. Uh, one of these bags that lay down here off camera actually has a new pair of curtains in. <laughs> I think that bin liner over there with the pillows might actually have the rest of the bed clothes in as well. Stella! I've got Hammy somewhere as well, but I don't know where Hammy is. Hammy! Where are you? No, I think he's actually buried where I threw Stella. <laughs> I was saying go like that with this. That would not be a good idea. Bits of Lego everywhere. I've got enough crap to clean up as it is. Right. Oh. oh, 
Wait you there a minute. Not like you're gonna go anywhere, but you wait there. Whoa! Steady on cat. Right. I put this up on eBay Friday as well. It's an old Dragon 32 computer. I bought this at least three years ago from the junk shop in town for one pound. That's all it cost me, a pound. But I don't have that power supply for it. And it's been three years and it's not an easy type of power supply to get hold of. So I just figured stick it on eBay, spares repairs, you know, start the bidding at 99p so I'd get at least I'd get back what I paid for it but, uh, when I last looked this evening the bidding had gone up to £8.53 and I did say in the listing you know it spares repairs untested because I haven't been able to test it and if I did find a power supply for it, it ain't going to be cheap and I don't want to fork out a lot of money on a device I don't know if it works it would be a complete gamble so I may actually end up doing that with my Apple laptop I've got in there although having said that the power supply is not actually that much anyway so I might gamble with that one Anywho, I am tired, or getting tired, there's going to be just two games I want to um, have a play on before I go to bed, drink my drink as well, uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video when we uh, tackle my balls up on the wall. <laughs> See ya. Okay. <clears throat> it's Tuesday lunchtime now. <clears throat> so I'm going to get cracking. I want to get this done. Mess up fixed, shall we? how much that is actually off. That's where it's got to be. Oh my god, that was well off. The bloody hole is actually there. So if you see where my finger is and where the original hole is, that's about an inch. Now it's probably about an inch and a half off. Right, so what I'm going to do, now that I've actually got that spot on, on the plonk, see how many holes I've made? 
<laughs> and you know what, I want to drop this end and not raise it. Right. I've got to remember what bit I want now. Uh, I've got to remember where my plugs are as well. This still over here. Then. Helicopter's got a mind of its own and I only just managed to catch it. I'll tell you what, as there's so many plugs already in the wall, let's cheat, shall we? Come here. That does a walk him out. And does that one? That's in there pretty well. We'll say that these walls do grip the screws pretty damn well. <clears throat> I've got another whole thing of these somewhere. too deep <clears throat> in mind. I want something to whack that in with now. So I'll see if I can just get this shelf done. That still looks off on that wall. What have I done with the level? Drop the level, that's what I've done with it. <clears throat> well, according to that, it's spot on, but when I look at it, it still looks it looks too low this end but I've got a funny feeling it's this pipe work that's throwing it out because that isn't up there level either so if you, you need to it's a bit hard but you need to go by the ceiling and even that isn't perfectly level either I can see that right now what I'll do take this one back out wood bit back in. I think this is the blank wood bit. If I can't find the other ones. It's quite a lot of talk in this thing. Uh, right. I'm going to put one there. One there. One might have gone all the way through. <laughs> Bit of 
soft wall I think I just hit. Right. Now I can take this down. Oh, Mark is there. Draw bits again. Find that one. I've had this drill for years. It's been a bloody good drill. As you can see, it sort of goes through like butter. What nice do that? That one might be a previous hole that I just drilled at the end there. Alright. Plug them up. And screw it up. Plaster's not brilliant in this place, but it's not the worst. In fact, the worst area is in the bathroom. Right, now I haven't got a lot of choice. I need to find those plugs. <coughs> not unless I've got something else I can use. Do we think one of these brown ones will go in there? Screw holes. I might get away with reusing that one. It's a big mic though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and charge this one in a minute. I'm hoping I can get just get the shelf brackets up. So this one is then done. Then I can put this on charge and go and get the other brackets. No, this might actually sit up there without leaning so much. Let's have a look. I think the main issue is, as I said before, it's uh, rather heavy, this shelf. And, uh, <laughs> it doesn't want to go in the middle now. Because this wall is so uneven. I need to get to the back there to tap that down. That's what I need to do. Um, do that one a little bit as well. It's gone fine on that end. But uh, I can't let go of that. Oh, it's just gone in. See what I mean by that one leaning? You see that? Right. Let's get... The first 
bracket on. Like that. <laughs> Slightly smaller. It's not doing my arm a lot good. Where's my screw? Let's get the screws in. Fuck, I had that in the wrong way, didn't I? Just for a minute, so I'm gonna let that go. That's an arm killer, that is. With, but I don't care about that, it's holding the bloody shelf up. Holding it up level anyway. We've got a slightly shorter one. Whacking his end. Oh. That isn't too bad, that other one. But these, uh... oh, my battery's going dead on the camera, so I've got to charge that anyway. So I'll stop this here. I'll get this up, get everything charged, go and get the brackets, and we can get the rest of these shelves up. Right, I'm back. Whew, doing the next one on the list. Um, unfortunately, the store I went into didn't have enough brackets for me to do the two on the wall behind you, so... Actually, I'm one bracket short to do what I've got to do on this wall, so... And I've just got to go fishing for the spirit level, because I've dropped it. And I've got a lot of cleaning to do when I've done this. Right. Turn the screen around. I'll tell you what, I'm friggin' hot. Let's bring that up and let me level on it. So 
and that has got to be there. is going in this one already. So, see if I can just get these last two. I found the hammer drill function. I forgot this thing had it. That's better. But I am going to have to charge that now. <laughs> running off me, literally. I've already drilled the hole. Ooh. Right. Skews now. Screws, shelf, brackets. That one's done, but I'm not going to get the... I don't think I'll get the holes drilled for the brackets. I'll give that a charge. Charge! Mm. 
Now I'm going to have to put another couple in there because that one's just uh, pulled away. So what I'm going to do, switch hammer drill back off because I won't need that for a minute. Mark one. One right there. And one this side of it. And uh, I'll stick this on charge. Right. I'll be back later. Okay. We're done. Apart from the shelf at that um, shelf bracket at that end, because uh, they only had five of the size I wanted, so I just bought them. So I'll just wait until Roy's gets some more in, and uh, I can put that one up, and then put the two up there. And if I'm using 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 shelf brackets, if I'm using shelf brackets. I might go ahead and put those up there. We'll see. So now I've just got the task of putting my lamps up there. And putting the TV back. All the cables are hanging there this time, aren't they? Yeah. And I've had all that out and vacuumed behind it. So I've just stuck everything back and it can be left there. Well, I have to uh, clean it out again. I'm just going to pick up some of these screws because they hurt to stand on. Where's my little pot gone? I can't remember. <laughs> there it is. Go in there. Well, they definitely look a lot straight. The only reason those brackets are there is just to basically hold them up so they're not leaning. I don't think they're exactly level. Uh, not in this direction anyway. Yeah, perhaps I've propped that one up a little bit too high. I've got a feeling this one's probably closer. Or not. How can that one be that much more out? <laughs> hey. Okay, it's only a tiny bit of difference. Even further out at that end. I don't care. I don't think. I don't think I 100% trust this little level anyway. I've had it for quite a while. Oh, it's the same this end as it is that end. That's all right. What about the top one? I can't see, can you? Oof. It looks straight enough. <laughs> it's good enough. That one is a lot better than it was. And uh, I didn't have to go around filling in any screw holes. I am going to have to get the paint out because I've got marks here I just want to go over. And there. I've got to fill in. Focus, you son of a bitch. Uh, let's get the dust off the shelves. There's a mark there to paint. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go at QDs to get a brush. Mind you, just to touch those up, I'm sure I've got a brush kicking around here somewhere I can use. In fact, I've I believe I might have even left one in the bucket itself. So I will do that before I stick the lights or stick anything on this shelf. I don't think this would have pulled away from the wall. I just think, you know, it just looked really silly as it was leaning so much. I'll bring that last shelf up as well later when I lock, go down and lock all my bikes and whatnot up. The bike, I should say. Right, and one final note before I disappear. That Dragon 32 computer, 
The last time I checked was up to £10.50. Not bad for something I paid a pound for. I'm starting to think maybe I should have gambled and tried to find the power supply for it, but never mind. Chances of me doing that were pretty slim. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.